in space, no one can hear you. Speaking of screaming, gotta be one of the most blood curdling screams that I have ever heard in a movie. Now granted, context, I'm not a horror guy. I've not heard a lot of blood curdling screams in movies because I don't watch movies that ha that call for it. But that scream from Isabel Merced was just like, it like pierces your ears. It was good. It was great. Great acting. Anyways. Are you sure you want to do this? So in case you don't know, Alien Romulus actually takes place, uh, I can't remember how long they said after, but uh, it takes place in between the first Alien and Aliens. And really simply, this Alien movie follows a group of kids. They basically put themselves on a mission to essentially better their lives. And they end up in a situation that they did not in any way anticipate. And I'm gonna start out with talking about this very young cast. But do not let age fool you, because these young cast members are insanely talented. And Kaylee Spaney and Isabel Marced are kind of the standouts, followed closely by David Johnson. There are a couple of scenes where he pretty much takes the forefront and does an absolutely amazing job with it. Same thing with Isabel Marced. She has a couple of scenes where there are some pretty nasty, disturbing things going on, especially to her character. It's wild to watch, and uh, it's one of those things where your skin kind of crawls a little bit. That being said, she does not have as much screen time, I feel like, as the other actors. She uses every second that she has to her advantage, uh, especially that shot in the trailer, that whole scene. And then Kaylee Spaney, she's the leading lady here, uh, actually the, the lead as a whole. Her character and her performance are reminiscent of Sigourney Weaver as Ripley. Not to say that I feel like it's a copycat, because I don't, because there there are definitely, there are elements that are similar between the two characters and the two performances, but there are also uh, very unique attributes to Kaylee Spaney's performance and, and just her character uh, alone that definitely separate the two, but having a little bit of that reminiscence uh, to Sigourney Weaver as Ripley, I actually really thoroughly enjoyed it. I don't know why, it just kind of seems to fit the situation and the character as a whole. But I don't want to give all the credit to Kaylee Spaney as being reminiscent of another actress in another role because she stands perfectly fine on her own. Being the lead of this cast, the main character of this film, she has a lot of moments of fear where she has to portray, you know, strength and bravery and she does a great job of that one of the components to that is that she's playing a character that is written as a very intelligent character not in the sense that she's a kid genius but more in the fact that she's really good at improvising in dangerous situations and coming up with things and i will admit there were a couple of moments where it felt a little bit too easy but ultimately kaylee spaney did a pretty solid job of making it feel natural and not forced but like i said the entire cast here is absolutely phenomenal now moving on from the cast alien romulus as a whole i really don't want to say the following words because i've said it a couple of times this year and i'm really starting to sound like a broken record but man this is some serious serious cinema <laughs> part of the reason i feel this is i just watched alien and something that I noticed whenever watching Alien is movies from the 70s. Just the technology that they had for filmmaking and really the lack thereof. It really made for a very specific, unintentional style for that decade. I mean, this happens with every decade. And the thing that I love about Alien Romulus is that it really takes you back to that time, to that decade of the 70s. At least it, it, to me, it feels like it. Director Fede Alvarez, I don't know if it was intentional uh, to be like this, but I really feel like he brought this touch of the 70s to Alien Romulus, and it really made it reminiscent of that time, especially of the first Alien film, and it was something that I loved. And the things that contributed to that are, first and foremost, a lot of, I'm pretty sure, practical effects being used here. You have the sets, you have the atmosphere with the fog, the way that they lit the scenes, the props, like I said, the animatronics, uh, the prosthetics, anything that was used for the alien beings. And of course, Alvarez's direction, the way he moves the camera in this film uh, throughout the space with the characters. On top of that, the score is absolutely phenomenal. Benjamin Wallfish, phenomenal phenomenal job on on the music the score really just it's a character in itself you know i mean i feel like there are scores that stand out and that are like oh yeah that sounds really cool like i could i could listen to that in the car or, you know working out or whatever there are scores like that but then there are scores that just feel like it is a a, a character in itself in the film that you're watching and that is benjamin 
uh, Wallfish's score. I will definitely be listening to the score, just not at night. Because I don't want to look into the corner and see a xenomorph waiting for me. Now, as far as this movie being a, like, sci-fi horror film, there are moments in this movie that aren't really scary, but they are definitely disturbing to no end. There's a couple of moments that are like, oh, that's cool, you know, looks, yeah, it's kind of nasty, but it's still cool. But then there are some newer things, uh, at least new to me, and I haven't seen all the Alien films. So these things may be similar to what I'm about to watch as I continue to watch the Alien films i don't i don't know though but those things were very disturbing um yeah legitimately had my skin crawling well not legitimately my skin wasn't crawling off of my body and out of the theater or anything like that that's weird i was physically uncomfortable as some of these scenes played out but as far as being like a full-on scary movie like it's really not i really wasn't affected that much by what was going on there were tense scenes absolutely like i was tense there was suspense there but if you're wanting like a full-on horror film like that's not what you're gonna get here at least i don't think however there was one little tiny moment it really took me by surprise even though i was kind of expecting it well let me rephrase that i was expecting it but i wasn't expecting it because i literally had it in my head like okay every alien movie has this moment is it gonna happen here and then as soon as i thought no, I don't think it will. It happened <laughs> and it did take me off guard. Now, I will say there was one little nitpick that I noticed. Uh, there were a couple of moments where I feel like the editing, there were a couple of emotional beats that definitely could have taken their time a little more. Nothing too serious to where it's sacrificing the seriousness of any situations like later in the movie. It's more at the beginning of the second act that I'm referring to. Other than that, honestly, I don't really have anything bad to say about Alien Romulus. So that being said, Alien Romulus pretty much from head to toe is just awesome. The cast did an absolutely phenomenal job. The effects, the visual of this film the lighting the atmosphere the sets the camera work the music is great it's just a great film i had a great time watching it i absolutely adore it i can't wait to watch it again and with that you can probably guess yes i'm giving alien romulus a 100 percent rewatch probability <laughs> Holy crap, I spent almost an hour talking about this movie. Editing this is going to be an absolute pain. This will be me editing this video. But anyways, that is it for my review of Alien Romulus. If you're interested, I am going to be planning on doing a ranking video. And if you're interested in that, consider subscribing. Leave your thoughts on Alien Romulus. Did you like it as much as I did? Did you think it sucked? Let me know. And obviously, if you enjoyed this video, consider leaving it a thumbs up as it helps the algorithm and helps me grow. But anyways, thank you for watching and have a great day.